hey there everyone and welcome to the android training now we are dry directly jumping into the meat part of the course and uh, obviously the very first step is to install the android studio now in case you don't know what the android studio is it's a platform or rather i would say an ide integrated developer environment where you will write all of your code and will run all of your code now before we begin and install this let me just talk quickly about few important points that you should always keep in mind now first of all android development and learning other programming language is slightly different because you might be coming up from the background where you might have learned about c c++ or maybe java but that's officially not required for this course we'll cover up all the java requirements in in the training itself but you need to understand that uh, writing codes for that language and writing code for android is little bit different in point of memory usage because in those languages you just uh, write a simple program that uses memories in just kbs or to the max a, a few megabytes but when you write the code for android studio and develop it for an android platform it uses uh, gigabytes of the ram so that's important feature that you need to understand so obviously the very first link that you need to go and you will be visiting quite a lot during the android uh, during the entire android development cycle is going to be developer.android.com so make sure you bookmark it it's going to be the important link which we'll be visiting quite a lot and one of that link is developer.android.com slash studio and what we want here is the android studio which is a free ide which we'll be using throughout this course okay now before you begin with this training let's clear up a few things and move back a little bit down and talk about the system requirement so you might be on a windows you might be on a mac or might be on a linux it doesn't really matter android development is completely independent of that platform but what you need to take care is about the ram usage so as i was mentioning that when you write a code for c or c++ it's just a few kbs of the memory that's being utilized but when you write the code for android your entire android os is being launched so that means you are running your entire program on a simulated mobile phone which consumes a lot of memory so make sure that your system ha should have at least three gigabytes of ram but i don't recommend three gigabytes it is really a painful job to uh, develop an android app uh, on just the three gigabytes of the ram so eight gigabytes would be that i would be recommending and at least should have four gigabytes of ram now if your system don't come up with that make sure you do upgrade you can surely work with that low kind of a ram but things will be painfully slow and it's not gonna be fun so that's for the windows for the mac guys again it's almost the same it's minimum on the three side i don't recommend i recommend at least four gigabytes of the ram and if you have eight gigabytes of the ram that's gonna be awesome so that is the minimum requirement i'm pretty sure every everyone would be having uh, at least two gigabytes of the disk space free with them and uh, that's cool there now obviously uh, in this i'm having a mac so i would be downloading the mac version of the android studio now it's going to detect automatically for you that uh, whether you need a mac one or the windows one so i have already downloaded this guy which is a little bit of heavy in the size 434 not a big one actually and as soon as you download it you will be redirected to this page which is an install.html page it guides you quite a bit about what is the installation process they do have a nice video but i don't think you think that you'll be needing that and you can change it for the windows version as well and it shows you the entire process for windows as well okay so right now i do have a dmg file which is for my mac for the windows file you will be having a .exe which is pretty easy to install click next yes i agree do agree and just install in the default location for me on the mac it's just a matter of dragging and dropping it into the application folder and it's going to start the process in a second and there we go so this is how we install the things on the mac pretty cool and pretty easy now it's almost exactly the same for the windows as well but you have to click a couple of more buttons and there we go now one more thing that i would like to show you is that right now if i open up my terminal there we go and i ask for java dash v and it says hey uh the java uh, jdk is not installed on your system and that is the one thing that i wanted to discuss here that i i don't have java yet on my system 
and I don't need to install it because JDK or the Android Studio actually comes up with the JDK directly there. So you don't need to be worried much about that. And I'm going to launch my J Android Studio there. And in a minute, there we go. It says, hey, do you want to open it? For sure, I want to open it. And it's taking a couple of seconds. No worries there. And it will show you this screen. So I don't have any previous version of the studio on this system. So I'll be just using this. If you are already a developer there and you have some settings that you want to import, you can choose this option. But for most of you, this is going to be this option. So click on OK. And there we go. Now let me just move it to the other screen. And there we go. So a setup wizard is there and I'm going to click on the next and I'm going to go with the standard for most of you. It's always the standard. Click on the next. And now it's going to download a few things on my system, which is 824. And you can see a lot of things are downloaded. The one which we are mostly interested in is make sure that you download this guy, Intel x86 emulator accelerator, which is an Hacksim installer. Now, this is really important and for the Windows guy especially that you download and check mark this because you want to install this separately. It's not installed directly onto your system. Make sure that you have this file. Okay, so I'm going to click on uh, directly onto the finish and now it's going to download a few things. Now I can click on the show details to uh, make sure I understand what's downloading and it's not. And with the power of uh, magic video editings, I'll just fast forward the things. Now, in my computer, it's automatically asking that, hey, it, it want to install the Hagsum. This might not be the case in case of Windows. So you definitely need to go into the program files and need to install that separately. But right now, it's a good case for me. So I'll just enter my password and will allow it. Now, as soon as it download uh, everything and everything is ready, it's going to show you up this screen and we are ready to go. Now we will move on after this screen in the later on videos. Now make sure that you reach up till this screen and I'll catch you up in the next video.